player, but maybe you have to shoot the ball from outside. Let, let's see what he gives the Rocks tonight. He's sometimes referred to as a combo guard, so it'll be interesting to see how he actually plays tonight. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Harris play. Uh, he was a guy that had a couple of exceptional dunks here last time, so let's see if he, he can connect on a few of those. Yeah, good the Giants are going into early, Dan Clark. You'll see his mentality. Nice little hook shot, doesn't get it to go, but, you know, Dan Clark will be wanting to get back on track after last game when uh, he fouled out against Sheffield. He'll be looking to, uh, to you know, pick up where he's left he's left off for most of the games in this season. Now, let's hope he, he gets back on track for this game as that's a must for these Giants. Yes, I think it's certainly important that he stays on court, isn't it? Yeah, and like I said, though, you know, emotional guy, and take that away from Dan Clark, you don't have the same player, so it's just a balance at times, and, you know, smart enough guy, I'm, sh I'm sure he'll, he'll learn quickly. Dished out to Hillsman, yeah, and three. A, a nice pass from Johnson, and feet nearly touched the ground, able to hold onto the ball for the last second and make the correct decision. A good pass and a knockdown jumper, but here's Tyreek Armstrong, tough to guard. Yeah, great screen by Lee Fraser. Good Green, Green maybe should have gone up with that. Johnson drives in, dishes off. And Johnson is the heartbeat of this team, Dave. You know, ball is, is in his hands most of the game. He's uh, very efficient, gets other guys involved, uh, but also able to score as well, so... You know, he's the, he's the heartbeat of this basketball team. Foul called on Tyrell Green for a push. Yeah, once again, Jamal Anderson's activity uh, causing that. You know, being active, going after the offensive rebound. Hudson and Whelan on for the Giants, replacing Armstrong and Steele. Oh wow! Great fight from. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to get excited anymore. I'm just <laughs> expecting it. Foul called on Fraser. He can't see why. Yeah, interesting substitution by Coach Gardner. He's, he's normally gone with, with Armstrong and McKnight starting uh, and Josh Steele, and they've played together, and then he's gone out with a second unit coming in with Jordan Whelan and, and uh, Artisan and Jack Hudson coming in. But if you look, McKnight has come in with Jordan Whelan, so he's kind of mixed those two fives up with could you say at this point of the game and I'm sure Jordan Whelan will be, be the beneficiary if McKnight attacks early great cut by Jamal and on the point pass by Jack Hudson that was nice Dave it was lovely yes I mean Giants have struggled to get the ball inbounded on many occasions but that was a great feed inside from Hudson <laughs> Anderson won again quick yeah. hands Oh, good defense, Jordan Whelan, knowing who you're guarding. Foul called on Jack Hudson for holding. You don't really mind that. Jack's guarding a bigger guy there on the switch and, you know, fighting around and getting position. You'd rather that than just let him catch the ball and have his way, so... No problems there. And once again, no problems. Good rotation by Jordan Whelan, making uh, 
Harris after score. Wow, great catch by Dan Clark. Yeah, two open threes for Hillsman. Definitely a good shooter. Uh, and Giants will have to learn that he's the guy that you can't leave. Jamal Anderson's been around long enough to know who's quick, who's who's not quick, and you know went going at Ali Fraser early uh, to get him that extra foul that puts him on two. Smart play by Anderson. Jack Domney in for the Rocks, replacing uh, Fraser. Yeah, tough, tough shot. Tough shot with a left. Good defense by Clark and just a nice, a nice little hook shot at the end. Great move, Dan Clark. And, and running back, Dave, not talking to the referees, just running back and, and keeping on playing your game. Good start by Dan Clark here. Rolled a lot round the ring, but certainly found the net. Yep. And there he is on the glass. Great pass by McKnight. Oh, unlucky. With a blocking foul call on Hudson. Yeah, unlucky by Jack Hudson because that does put him on two fouls. So, doesn't argue, goes to the bench, but tough luck on that one. Armstrong back in. And for the first time, Will Saunders in for the Giants. Replacing McKnight. Yeah, tough shot. Little fade away. Great job, Dan Clark. Yeah, Dan Clark, the best player in this game so far on both ends. You know, rebounding, you know, offensive rebounding, scoring, do it, doing it all really, Dan Clark, early on. Did I jinx him, Dave? Way off to the right on that one. <laughs> Great defense, and again, great defense by Dan Clark. The ball did, the ball did hit the rim. I think the refs are going to talk about this right now, because the ball did hit the rim, so the shot clock shouldn't have been reset from the first uh, shot to the second shot. Yeah, I think the ball, I think the ball may have touched the side of the rim. Oh no, maybe he didn't. Certainly on the the second one. I mean, if you have BBL play, you just watch just that went back, right? Straight over. Straight over for me, anyway. Yeah, the second one, definitely. But I think the first one, but maybe not. And definitely a good block by Dan Clark, who had a piece of it. Jordan Whelan coming off there. Had a notion to shoot. 
Tyree goes back to his left. Oh, nice job by Artisan. And that's, that's immense. You come in replacing Dan Clark, who's gave you excellent minutes, and you get an offensive rebound. Even Francois Lewis. Oh, oh nice them. pass. Oh, unlucky. Oh. I mean, let's tell Will Saunders. You don't get an extra one for difficulty, Dave. You're not supposed to miss the easy one and then make the really, really tough one. So tough Gi shot. Giants out to a two-point lead. And the Rocks call a timeout. Francois Lewis there. The pass sent a little bit off from Will Saunders, but able to corral it and go behind the back and then behind the back to, to Will Saunders, who, who was able to make the difficult shot. Good play by the Giants. A big bucket. So probably double the crowd that was here on bonfire night, Dave. And you can see why, but nice to see a lot of people in the building enjoying this game. It certainly is, yes. I mean, the, the crowd on uh, Friday, disappointed, but considering it was a bonfire evening. Yeah, it's, it's understandable. Were you at the bonfire last night? No, I wasn't, Dave. I wasn't. I mean, you call me not very traditional in that sense, but I wasn't. You were lucky. <laughs> was you, Dave? I was doing a barbecue, and uh, the gazebo uh, under basically blew away because it was so windy. No way. <laughs> <laughs> we managed to survive. Unfortunately, it did sort of uh, only finally give up when it had stopped raining, but uh, a good crowd. I can see I can see you doing things like that, Dave. I mean, Christmas coming up, will you be playing Santa? For, oh, I can see that happening for you. Have to grow that beard a little bit more. <laughs> you have more chance, is that what you're saying? I shall be p perhaps uh, helping him out. <laughs> One player I have been impressed with and quietly impressed is Josh Steele. I mean, a, a true professional. You know, he's he's... He's not been the main guy, but he's been there and thereabouts most games. He shoots a very high percentage from two and three and shoots above 80% from the foul line. You know, a good basketball player to have on your team. Pounce pass. Nice finish. Ties the score. Yeah, but you've got Tyreek coming back at you the other way. Probably too fast for himself right there. Not quite tall enough to get it. Yeah, tough look. Just needed a longer finger to get that ball then. He, was that, he would have had that and probably gone the other way. But One thing we do know about this, this Giants team is they're together, Dave. You know, they're... They speak very highly about each other. Um, they seem to work for each other. The energy coming in and the attitude on the bench seems very good. So, you know, you're going to win some, you lose some. And those close games they've lost, you know, could have gone either way. So, you know, hopefully, in their camp, they're remaining very positive. Yes, a lot of substitutions take place and uh, there's no sulking that you're being drawn off, which is good to see. We both think that he should probably be playing slightly more time than uh, he's had so far this season. Well, um, yeah, I'm not sure, Dave. I mean, you can look at McKnight, who's coming off the bench tonight, who's arguably been one of the best players in the whole league. Uh, and we can say, OK, you're not starting. But look at these guys now. They're coming on, stepping in. Will Saunders, and then you've got Francois Lewis. You know, six quick points from those guys. And, you know, good sign. Giants lead three, the biggest of the night so far. Good box out by Josh Steele, allowing Francois Lewis to pick up the pieces. 
I'd like to see Josh Steele attack off this. He can get by Malcolm, you know. Great athleticism oh, again from Saunders. Yeah, oh, great hustle, Josh Steele. Great job. And Jamal Anderson there, you know, could have shot the ball, give it up to a, a you know, a, a, a good shooter in Jamal Anderson, give it up to an even better shooter in Will Saunders and just fired a blank at that point. But good hustle by Josh Steele. Anderson replaced by Artisan. Did you see these guys went to watch uh, Manchester United yesterday, Dave? They, I didn't. They, yeah, no. they were they were able to. Did go they go and watch Manchester United, they, or did they go and watch Manchester City? No, they were definitely went to watch Manchester United. Oh dear, yeah, they've been yeah, disappointed. I saw them at the game. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't want to comment on the problems that Man Manchester United are having at the moment. You know, being a fan from another te rival team. Uh, however. You know, what an experience to go, especially for the American guys to go and see a, a Premier League football game and Old Trafford's a spectacle in itself. Oh, hopefully it's not a head collision. Except, of course, they went to see a soccer game. Yeah. Either way, the tradition of Manchester United and being able to go and, and watch that game is, a, you know, good good for all the team but definitely the American guys will have been trekked to that certainly the City fans will be a lot happier yesterday than they were on Saturday last week yeah. Oh, one of those other ones that just got off the fingertips and Giants come up with the rebound. Jack Domi very active on the glass, uh, was in the last game. Doing a good job. End of the first quarter with the Giants up 22 and 19. Leading the way for the Giants, Dan Clark. So, Giants to start this second quarter. No team really puts a big scoring run up so far. I think the biggest scoring run we've seen is five points from the Rocks. Yeah, nice move, Jamal. Johnson. 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 with the rebound. Yeah, and roll into the basket again. Francois Lewis looked like he turned an ankle on that play, and in comes Dan Clark. And, and uh, I would argue that this period of the game is quite significant. We saw against Sheffield the Giants go up by five and six, and then Sheffield make shots and keep themselves in it, and at the end, then take the game. So let's see if Giants can get a little bit of separation in these next two or three minutes, Dave. Plays like that from Josh Steele will help, you know, didn't give up on the play and came over on the weak side and helped the helper. Good job, Josh Steele.
Steele thinks about pulling up. Yeah, big shot, big shot. Ten point game. You have to be thinking the Giants now, can we stretch this one out? Can we get this one to 15 going in at half? Ooh. Johnson tells everyone, takes the air out of this building, Dave. Good shot by Johnson, but Giants can keep this ball moving and get some good looks. They're in good shape. Just trying to do a little bit too much. Malcolm, too strong. Jack Dunley picks up his first foul. Giants seem, I don't know the stats there, but Giants seem to be doing a good job on the glass. They seem to be limiting the, the Rocks to one shot. Last game, if we remember, the Rocks dominated the offensive rebounds. They came in with stick backs, especially in the second half, that killed the Giants, and, and they seem to have done that in the other games as well. So that's the thing that the Giants will be aware of, and they're doing a good job at the moment. No offensive rebounds for the Rocks so far. Good defense, Tyreek Armstrong and Dan Clark in there once more. Yeah, I might have been tempted to call a foul there against Armstrong. I thought there was a little elbow that uh, just gave a little bit of push off. No, he's, he's, I think he's backing up Dave, not giving ground. Uh, stood his ground well and Johnson initiated the contact. Uh, so fair play, I think is a good no call. Yeah, for me that's not a good shot, Dave. It's the first probably shot I'd question. Uh, once again, Dan Clark's there, but you know, Artisan being talked to now by by uh, Armstrong, probably telling him to go early or, or release the ball. Uh. Yes, there was no need to take that shot. There were other options available. On the flip side, Artisan has been playing exceptionally well in these last few games. And once again, a good challenge there defensively. So, good job. Nice pass by McKnight. Yeah, and a great pass by McKnight. Cross court. Armstrong obliges with the three. Not taking too many threes this season, Armstrong, but he's picked up two in quick succession tonight. Yeah, more than capable uh, of shooting the three point shot, Dave. Now on 7 from 14 for the season. Yeah, 50%. You take that any day, so... I suppose when you're that quick, you, you sometimes <laughs> don't need to shoot the three. You can just get to the hoop. Check Tony replaced by Fraser. Yeah, and Ali Fraser will have probably in his head thinking I should have shot the first one. Coach Murray telling him the same thing uh, because you you've gone a, a quicker and uh, not quicker than yourself, but a, a quicker this game. Dan Clark and a, a potential shot blocker as well, so he probably won't turn that next one down. Ali Fraser. So Rocks call a timeout. Lead again up to ten for the Giants. It's the biggest we've seen from them. Or equally the biggest we've seen from them. And uh, Tan is their biggest scoring run as well.
Tariq Armstrong now the leading scorer for the Giants with those two threes in this quarter, taking him up to a total of eight points. And the scoring spread throughout the team as we've seen so often for the Giants. You have Armstrong on eight, Anderson Clark on six, and Saunders on five. And a couple of other scorers as well. Sorry, Francois Lewis also on five, yes. But uh, for the Rocks, it's JC Hillsman, not scored this half, but leading the, the all scorers in the game with 10 points. And he's done that quietly, Dave. Seems to be very efficient. A couple of three point shots in with that. You know, he seems to be very efficient scorer, as Hillsman. Armstrong sees the opening but decides to pull out. Probably expected some weak side help. None came. Could have continued. Good defense there by Malcolm. Yeah, I think he would have beaten the block. Yeah. Nice give and go. But then you've got Tyreek Armstrong coming back at you and the magic man can. Oh. I think that's really? one of those... Uh, An offensive foul against yeah, Armstrong, dribbling the ball up court with two players attacking him. I mean, maybe, they, him maybe they've looked at... Uh, I sometimes think that the NBA influences, we watch James Harden at the moment struggling to score because all of those... Well, not all of the points, but a lot of the points he used to have came from, uh, came from just drawing contact in those situations and going to the line and... They've changed the rules so he can't do that and he doesn't seem to be having as much uh, joy. And sometimes I think the NBA has a reflection on our game as well. Foul called on Anderson, his first foul. Armstrong replaced. He's picked up two fouls. Jack Hudson back on court for the Giants. The encouraging thing is that's the first foul on Jamal Anderson. Sometimes I can't believe as tough as he plays defense and as as uh, active as he is that he keeps the foul count down. Good job, Good Jack Hudson. By Hudson. Great job, Jack Hudson. Caught, caught the caught the rock sleep in there and a, a valuable basket yes, to keep that distance. Good interception prior to that from Murray, but I think. Uh, Murray's quick, quick grab of the ball and pass out, caught the rocks. Dan Clark is a different player in this game. I mean, we, we've just back-to-back -back plays. Defensively, he's right there eliminating the easy shot, and then he's running the screen and roll, causing all sorts of problems for this rocks defense. Oh, nice pass by Jack Hudson. I don't think, I don't think Jamal, although he could, really expected that to get through. It was a great pass by Jack, but just took his eye off it. Yes, if they class that as turnover to Hudson, it'd be very harsh, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hudson just slowing the ball down. Well, a couple of players could have taken the three, but we uh, end up with the two. And the important thing is it went in the basket. Yeah, and, and I, I think it's an expectation when McKnight has, his ball, has the ball in his hands that that can happen. So everyone else being frantic, running round, he's a catch, catch up fake, casual up fake, and then drains the two. Murray still producing it for the Rocks.
Travel call, uh, sorry, travel called on Murray. What do you think he's saying to the referee? It's in Gaelic, so I wouldn't understand it. He might be a. Uh, I think he's saying little steps shouldn't count. Oh. But he, I think he did take a few. Malcolm sits down. Replaced by. Oh. oh nice, great pass. <laughs> Francois Lewis even apologising, saying that one's a little bit late. Better late than never, Francois Lewis. He puts that one on the money uh, for Saunders, and that'll be the easiest bucket he gets this game. Good defence by the Giants. Good defence. Great defence. Great defence. Sorry, Dave. I'm going on and watching that play. I'm becoming a fan. That ball has moved, moved. It's challenged. It's challenged. Lloyd Gardner will be over the moon with that play. Exceptional rotation and commitment by this basketball team. A couple of times looked like the Rocks were getting free, but they closed down instantly. Uh, not for the first time. The watch, watch McKnight to attack uh, soon, sooner or later. You know he been quiet and, and been defaulted to other guys, which has been the right thing to do. But you know could really get some some space between these two teams, and McKnight's the man to do it. Lewis called for the foul. Yeah, and doesn't argue. And, and uh, you know, young guys watching the game, it's a bad play to foul the jump shooter. Uh, just put your hand up, get there, put your hand up, make him make that shot. Um, never a good thing to fly at a jump shooter. Goes to the line, shooting three. Rocks have done a good job hanging around here, Dave. A bit like Sheffield did the other day. You know, could potentially cut this game to a six-point game. So, you know, the Giants could have been up maybe 15 now. Uh, and the Rocks have done a good job hanging around so far. McKnight and Steele coming back for the Giants, replacing Hudson and Saunders. Instead of replacing Hudson, Hudson's still on court. Who else would tell? Good catch by Johnson. I was just behind him from Harrison. Able to get that ball and slightly behind him and then, then lay it in. Giants score timeout as the Rocks close the gap to just four. With just over two minutes remaining in this first half. Go on, Jason, tell us the bad news. <laughs> no, Dave. <laughs> Why do you support them? <laughs> Liverpool? Mm. Oh, I, in my, fortunately my dad took me to the games when I was a younger lad and I, I get quite a lot of stick from the Manchester guys who, you know, a lot, rightly so, support their home club. Um, so they'll enjoy that Liverpool have lost today. Just, I'm just thinking I haven't seen Johnny Bunyan yet in, in this game and in he comes. Uh, luxury to have as a backup point guard. 
Uh, experience definitely counts to have in there. Johnny Bunyan brings plenty of that. Been a thorn in the side of the Giants on many occasions over the last uh, few years. Jack Hudson's done a good job, uh, Dave, coming in and making good passes, steals, staying in front on D. He's done an exceptional job. We may, we may see, see him soon again as, you know, Armstrong moves on to three fouls. So we may see Jack Hudson before, before too long anyway. Here he comes again. Running out of here, Dave, like you didn't even give me a chance to get a drink. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened to my breather, yeah. Good no call by the referee. Good uh, good watch by Anderson. Looked like he was uh, moving down the court oh. too quickly. Good job, Josh Steele. Good job. Good job. I spoke earlier about he, he can take that basketball. Nice play by the Giants. But Josh Steele, a good recognition from the play before. Unable to go. Go at Gareth Murray and finish to the left. Difficult man to control underneath the basket. Yeah, Dan Clark jumps out and it leaves Jamal Anderson there and uh, did come over, but just a little bit unfortunate on the on the rebound. Great recognition, Jack Hudson there. Good shot by Clark, just unlucky not to get it to drop, but good recognition by those two guys to spot spot the switch. Yeah, that's the shot we spoke about before, Dave, that he was turning down, and he's been capable of making that as Ali Fraser. Back-to-back -back baskets for well, Fraser. For, for a long time now, he's been making that shot. Hudson asking for the foul on Bunyan. I'd like to see McKnight with the ball in his hands here. No, I wouldn't, Dave. I'll take that back. I, I like to see Josh Steele with the ball in his hands. Finishes the half with the three to give the Giants seven-point lead, 45-30. The Giants need to keep under racks. The thing is that we've seen coming out here, Tyreek Armstrong takes to the court. He's on three fouls, but Lloyd Gardner rolling the dice, knowing that Giants could get a little bit of space because he's the guy uh, for the Giants that's had the hot hand in the first half but been frustrated as he's been in foul trouble. Yes, you mentioned Johnson, I mean, he's by far the, the leading scorer for the Rocks this season so far. 150-odd points compared to the next highest one of a 110 or something like that. So, I mean, 40 points more than anybody else, but he's been quietly efficient tonight. Picked up nine, as you say, already. Yeah, and quietly does it. And so, you know, a good basketball player that gets other people involved too. Hillsman looks for three. Too strong. And right on cue, he adds another two. He just quietly keeps ticking over, Dave, doing the little things. He's a very good basketball player. Yeah, Giants fell asleep on that one. Looked like Harris picked up his dribble and had nowhere to go. And uh, Giants just fell asleep, allowing Ali Fraser to just tiptoe back door for the layup. Yeah, I mean, he started off on our side of the court and ended up scoring from the back. Great job again. Why did we expect anything different? 
How I just wouldn't go at Jamal Anderson. It's nearly a turnover. Certainly got uh, good hands reaching yeah, in. Yeah, I team. just I, I'd just give it up. Nice move, McKnight. That'll get him going, Dave. Because okay, we know a few things about McKnight. We know he's exceptional when he wants to be. We also know he's poker face. But right there. He showed that, you know, he's, he's into this and he wants to score. So, you know, that will get him going as he wants this basketball back. Look for him to attack again. Yeah, from his point of view, well, quiet night from his point of view, isn't it? It's only two points in that first half, which is very unusual. I think guys at his age, though, Dave, are still, still so much to learn about the pace of the game and things, you know, when, when to go and when not to go. And being an exceptional scorer... You know, when do you go? When's it better for the team that I don't go? And you know, sometimes he he does he does step back. But let's be honest, he's already shown from the the games they've played earlier that if he wants to score, he'll find a way. As you said, the important thing is no fouls for McKnight. Yeah, no fouls for McKnight, and more importantly, no fouls for Dan Clark. That was nice, Dave. That was beautiful. He even faked me out. I'm thinking, why is he not shooting that basketball? And then he holds it and holds it, knowing he has the bigger guy on him and just drives at him. Good play from Tyreek Armstrong, the magic man. Second foul called on Hillsman. Armstrong, the most efficient scorer from the line for the Giants so far this season, averaging 92% uh, coming into the game. Makes no mistake with those two. Harris is exciting. We haven't really seen him get out in the open, uh, but he's able to just elevate and finish. He's a good player. Uh, great pass and great shot. If he can find his uh, his shot from outside, he can very quickly take the game away from a team. I think it's always there, Dave. You know, he's one of those guys that you just similar to Ali Fraser. There, you can't leave. So no matter how how many shots they are going to miss or make. You can't leave guys like that. And the Giants go back to uh, the ball screen as Clark slips it again. Very smart play. Yeah, and we spoke about, you know, Tyreek Armstrong being on the three fouls and then... Uh, you know, Lloyd Gardner rolling the dice. He puts uh, Jack Hudson back in there. And there you go, and that's why. Good job, Jack Hudson. Oh, what a tip! That was nice. I think he basically took the ball out of uh, out of his hands then, didn't he? You know what, Jamal? Interception. Jamal isn't going to like me for saying this, but that was lucky, Dave. But but hey, let, let's give it to him. He uh, he earns those plays. Yeah, look for McKnight to go at him now. Look for him to put some pressure on that defense, and he does. Great pass to Dan Clark. So two big guys involved in the ball screen defensively, uh, and McKnight smells blood uh, and goes at those two guys. Johnson with his second foul. Josh Steele once again wreaking havoc and keeping that uh, ball alive as he takes a break and Jordan Whelan comes in but jo Jamal Anderson and Josh Steele on the glass and Coach Gardner's very happy with Josh coming out there. 
It's amazing how many guys don't look opposite here. Get in. Good shot, Jordan Whelan. Not afraid to take the three at any stage, Jordan. And uh, yeah, why not? Made the rocks pay. Oh, he's double tap. Oh, unlucky. As a young fan gets to play around with the ball a little bit and pass it back. <laughs> no, it's the referee. Oh, there was another person was doing Vels as well. <laughs> Great cut in from Hillsman. Yeah, and Johnson puts it on the money again. Great battle between Clark and Fraser. Nice, Jordan Wheeler. Kept his foot anchored. Provided some good, a good spark here. That's Giants basketball. But McKnight doesn't seem to. I don't know how he does it. He just doesn't seem to get beat on those baseline drives. No. His positioning seems to be exceptional. I spoke about him early in the season about you know his feet and the angle he plays the ball at he doesn't seem lightning quick like Tariq Armstrong is but he's quick enough and smart enough just to control the ball and has excellent balance as he's defending yeah he? yeah he does yeah right now he, sh he should go he right now McKnight's got to attack for me it's a big part of the game, it's now. Oh, nice pass, Jamal. Oh, nice. Slammed home by Dan Clark. Nice pass. Takes up to 11 points. Yeah, Dan Clark with the courtesy to dunk it. That was beautiful. Oh, tough break for the Giants, but push again. Let's get let's get back out this Rocks team. We seem to be a bit gassed at the moment. Yeah, get that ball in McKnight's hands. He can go, Dave. Nice move. Okay. Nice move. And this is the moment. This is where McKnight is still learning. When do I go? When do I not go? Once again, Dan Clark with the rejection. He's been, he's been exceptional up till now as Dan Clark, Dave. Lead now up to 13 points. Oh, another great block by Dan Clark. How, how many blocks? Four or five blocks? Knew exactly what Fraser was planning on doing. Oh, and, and they're ready and waiting. It's his third block, actually. Third block third. He's, been, he's been credited for. Okay. Third block, but must have changed another three shots as well. Um. And Clark call for the offensive foul. Leaves Hillsman on the floor. The difference is though now he gets that odd call and he, he's talking a little bit but he's he's on one foul. It's a difference. Whereas the other night you're on four fouls early and you know that is the difference and uh, if you if you're a, a guard a big guy and you are watching Dan Clark play it smart move by Lloyd Garner to get him out by the way but if you are watching Dan Clark at the moment don't just watch him with the ball in his hands watch how he comes to screen how he cuts the smartness of his play you know the efficiency he uses he's playing at a high level offensive foul called on Gareth Murray as uh, Armstrong ends up heading towards the floor Great left-handed move again from Armstrong. I mean, when you when you think, Dave, how fast Johnson is, 
And Tyreek Armstrong keeps just going at him. Keeps the ball, ball well out to the left hand side so he can't get uh, knocked away, doesn't he, when he's shooting? Yep, he's stopping his goal. Red light, green light. Good defense, Jordan Whelan. Giants rebound. Oh, tough look, but great job. Giants rebounding by committee. And a good defense by Jordan Whelan. Just good job on the glass by the Rocks, too. Yeah, so this is this is where Lloyd Gardner's, you know, experienced coaching now is playing the game. He knows Tyree going into the fourth quarter. He's, he's not going to be on three fouls, but make sure he doesn't pick up another bomb by putting Jack Hudson in, who's playing well too. A good defense on Johnson, but an even better shot. I mean, just stopped on a dime, you know. Off to the left, Anderson with the rebound. Yeah, nice pass by, by Jamal Anderson and a good finish by Jordan Whelan. Giants by 15. Great pass. As much as I'm a Giants fan, Dave, and I like seeing other players coming here, I like watching, I like watching Johnson play. Uh, he seems to be, oh, nice shot, Jack. He seems to be able to, he's a bit of a cheat code on that, on this team. He seems to be able to just bypass everything and get you a score. Foul called on Jamal Anderson, that's his third foul. Artisan on court to replace him. Big minute and 21 uh, left in this game. You don't want to give this Rocks team any life. Good block by Jack Hudson, but... You don't want to give this Rocks team any life going into the fourth. You want to keep this game as it is. I'm sure I'm not breaking any news here, Dave, but... Good pass by Murray. Nice finish. Hillsman strong enough to get the two. Okay, McKnight's right now. Hudson foul. Yeah, Jack goes to the line. You know, Giants will, will take that, those two. But for me, Tame at night has to forget the offense. Give me the ball. Johnny Bunyan comes back in to replace Johnson. It's amazing, Dave, how, how we talked before the game and we talked during the game and we're able to impart our uneducated coaching knowledge on the game without any consequence either it's a beauty to do in it <laughs> we can know everything and there's no comeback <laughs> i think we could argue that both these coaches coach murray and coach gardner are doing a great job this year yes and it's good to see glasgow uh, back to their normal selves isn't it after a quiet season last year when they uh, decided well you have to remember last year too Dave Glasgow were playing about three four weeks behind everybody else the Covid rules were different uh, in Scotland than they were in England yeah and, you know and we, we can keep making excuses but that one's a fact you know Gareth Murray spoke to me last year and they didn't they didn't have practice for so long no. they weren't allowed you know guys didn't get in the guys that they needed and 
I know everyone was at a, a disadvantage, but I felt for their team especially. Foul on Artisan. First miss of the season from the line from Murray. Previously was five from five coming into the game. You see that so much, guys. Dave, Dave, guys stepping out of bounds on that sideline. Seems to happen every game that somebody tows that sideline and gives the ball, the ball to the other team. No chance for a catch and shoot here under 0.4, so Glasgow will just inbound the ball and let it go. So Giants up 71-57 going into the fourth quarter. Leading those shoes. Christmas markets, I think, start next week. <laughs> If you're thinking of an early gift though, Dave, you know, curse kicks are around after this game, you know, you, if you're thinking of myself, I'm a, I'm a UK ten and a half. Right, right. okay. Oh, good move by Ali Fraser there, took his time. Ended up drawing the contact and was able to finish. Well, Fraser's, uh, Fraser's going to the line now. That will be his first trip to the line this evening. What I was going to say is Rocks have scored 19 points in uh, each of the first three quarters. And they started this one with a deficit of uh, 15 points. Nice move, Jack Hudson. Good move, had Bunyan on his heels, able to lay it up. Nice recognition by, by the point guard. Good job, Francois Lewis bullying on the glass there. Wow! And I saw that coming from a mile off. Some guys want to screen to get other guys open. Some guys screen to get the shot. And that one was right down the middle, Dave. Oh, good response, as always, from Johnny Bunyan. But yeah, Will Saunders locked and loaded. Practice shot for him right there. Saunders waiting for the court. In the yeah, and I like this, corner. Dave. I, I like I like McKnight creating there. Oh, <laughs> well, two players took very big knocks then. Yeah, and called neither of them was actually expecting it. And he's going to go with him now, Dave. Nice move. He's going to go right at him. He didn't appreciate that back screen, but even more so. Probably didn't appreciate the defense not letting him know that screen was coming. Yeah, and good move by the Rocks getting uh, Johnson back into the game. 13, possibly 14 point game we're looking at here and it's now or never for the Rocks to, to put a little bit of a spurt together.
Good hands by Artisan. But ends up with a three. Yeah. And there's that man again, Dave, just inserted into the game and makes a three. Up to 16 points. And on the other side, he's guarding McKnight, who will go in the block and see what he gets. And I, and I would forget the play. Well, I wouldn't forget the play. Wow. Great shot by Will Saunders. McKnight saying, give me the ball. Artisan saying, no, hold up a minute, young fella. I'm going to put the ball into this dynamite shooter's hands and a good finish by Will Saunders. Lewis quickly out to close down Fraser. Yeah, but again, wow, this is a little, three point shot. A little bit of a shoot out there. Gareth Murray responding. I think Coach Lloyd Garner is going to leave Jack Hudson to see how this one pans out. Be, be, be ready for if the Rocks make a few buckets to get Tyreek Armstrong back in this game. But, you know, I think as they're playing now. Jack Hudson playing exceptionally well and they, I think the Rocks won't make the mistake of leaving uh, Johnson on McKnight and he, so he won't be able to go into the block Time to three, no good. Giants going at the smaller Johnson. Artisan, don't think of passing this ball. Go up and shoot. Nice job, thank you. Took a lot of persuading them from you. Yeah, but good patience, Dave. We saw the double team coming, was strong with the basketball and was able to get the, the easy little floater up over the defence. Wow! Change side, but... Same result. <laughs> Third three of the wow. fourth quarter from Saunders. It's fourth altogether. You know, the two GB guys, Dan Clark and Will Saunders, I mean, in different ways. Dan Clark's been a constant, has dictated the tempo of this game for me in terms of his defensive presence and also his decision-making on the offensive end. And then you've got Will Saunders who's coming in and, and stuck the dagger into this team. I mean, he's an assassin. He, he's a catch-and-shoot guy who's fearless at the moment. And uh, he's played a great game so far. So Giants now up by 17. 86-69. Their biggest lead of the evening. So five minutes, 37 remaining in the fourth quarter. Armstrong back out there. Yeah, good defense again by Dan Clark. He's, he's there once again, great positioning and able to knock the ball. Uh, fortunately for Hillman, came off his head. Thank you. 
Nice. Uncontested three. Good hands by Saunders, stopping the backcourt, uh, backline drive. Twelve from twenty-seven from three-point range, the Giants tonight. Yeah, the Giants fans getting into it. They've been great tonight, Dave. They've been like the, uh, you know, the sixth man of this who's ever on court in this Giants five. They've been like the sixth man. They've, they've given the refs a little bit of stick there from the, the loose ball foul. And good job by the Giants faithful. No, it's too far out. Oh, no, perhaps he should have shot from far out. <laughs> Yeah, good pass by Johnson. Still a lot of game left, and what you don't want to do is allow a few threes on the bounce, but it looks like Giants are in the driving seat if, with Tyreek Armstrong with the ball in his hands. McKnight blocked out by Murray. Yeah, and a clean block too. Clark says that was as well, but uh, the referees don't agree. But he didn't wave the finger, Dave. No. So he just put his hands yeah, up today. The hand did. nearly went though, you know. No, no, so by far as he won, no, no, yeah. No, 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 he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He put the hands up. He waved the finger like Matumbo last game, but this game he's been defensively like Matumbo. He's been so good on those plays. You know, and, and right there, the, okay, it's the first one that he's got called against, but... There have been so many of those players that he's changed throughout this game. Harris up to six points. He's replaced. By Green. Nice move. Again, Giants get the roll into the net. And you know, some guys look at videotape after games and say, what could I have done? And sometimes, Ali Fraser, you have to put your hands up and say, that was good defense, but this guy's been that good tonight. Great play by Hillsman again. He moves up to 20 points. Yeah, he's been great, Dave. Armstrong picks up his fourth foul. I think he more, he's more frustrated on the turnover the play before. Characteristic of, of Tyreek Armstrong. Has very few turnovers to say he has the ball in his hands a lot. Um, what has been good about these Giants tonight is that the, I know there's, there's a lot of game left, but what has been good is the balance they've had as well. They've had different guys as well chipping. It's been Dan Clark and Will Saunders. Um, tonight and you know other nights it's not been and that's encouraging out of bounds again yeah there seem to be far more of those than when you used to play in gyms with so many lines that you really didn't know where the court uh, yeah. ended and now you have a great big blue line all the way around yeah and guys used to complain there's too many lines but yeah. never never went out of bounds <laughs> that's probably why they didn't know where they were so they were stayed well inside yeah maybe the referees didn't know which lines as well I mean, wow, Dave, he's put, on, he's put on a show. Five from seven. Three-point range. Good, <laughs> good steal by Armstrong. 
Foul by Fraser. Good job, Tyree. Good job. As he ends up near the table, good defensive stop. Tay McKnight taking the ball out over here. You keep this ball in him or Armstrong's hands, uh, looking at, at finishing off this game. As worst place as it could be. Well, Dave, every time I've said that, they've thrown it to Will Saunders and he's nailed a three, so. Yeah, nice shot. Johnson up to 19. Two minutes left in the game. Hillsman, I think, inadvertently took a shot from Anderson there. I think they both just collided, nothing. Nothing intentional about it, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Hillsman called for the foul. Yeah. I think one thing Jamal Anderson is, is he's a tough competitor, but the other thing is he's honest. You know, he communicates very well with both teammates and also referees. He has the respect of his fellow professionals, fans, and, and the referees. So he's not someone that would be would be asking for a call when it's not. Giants call a timeout with uh, just under the two minutes remaining and a 16-point lead. It's the PA announcement uh, just confirming that we are here both on Friday against Cheshire Phoenix and then on Sunday against the Surrey Scorchers in the quarterfinal of the Cup. That's uh, a new game just announced this weekend. Saunders. Johnny Bunyan back on court for the Rocks. Yeah, Murray Henry also on court for them. I mean, as the time ticks away now, Dave, it's been a, it's been a great performance by this Giants. You, you know, man, many a player is judged by how he does, but I think the reaction is superb from the Giants losing as Will Saunders able to benefit and score again as he moves up to 21 points. A nice pass from Jamal Anderson. But yeah, I think the response has been great. You know, I'm sure practice... Our, our team talks yesterday were very intense guys losing by one were able to look at each other and think you know what could have been done in different situations and you know each player has come out here and collectively you know looking at guys that have come in and Jordan Whelan and Jack Hudson and, and Artisan coming at points of, and, and Lewis have provided you know great minutes off the bench and then you know the, the starting the traditional starting five guys have, have executed Wow! 
Dave, let's just step back. That's a seven footer. Okay, let's not get too carried away and start saying, well, like Kevin Durant, seven foot, and he does things. But, you know, Dan Clark, that didn't look like he was going to miss. No. You know, there's a reason he's played at an exceptionally high level and, and still able to do so. Crowd shouting, we want 100. Let's see if Jamal Anderson, no, Jamal won't shoot this, I'm telling you. Not that sort of guy. <laughs> I would have done, Dave, I'd have shot that. Yeah, the crowd definitely wanted the 100. <laughs> so, Jones, take that one, 99-80. Haven't been too many victories against Glasgow Rocks over the last nine seasons, so it's certainly one to uh, enjoy, particularly after the two cup defeats. And a great response from the Giants after that one-point defeat on Friday night against Sheffield Sharks. They've certainly come out with great intensity. And uh, we know that Rocks can be very dangerous with their shooting, but it was the Giants' three-point shooting which uh, was absolutely phenomenal tonight. Uh, 14 from 31 attempts, so 14 three-point shots at 45%. And uh, that's one of the big differences in the game tonight. Leading scorers for the Manchester Giants, Will Saunders, on the back of uh, those uh, five threes, moves up.